Earshot Jazz, live at the Royal Room. We're delighted to crank this thing up tonight. Clearly, I can't talk, so we better listen to some music. We'll have a set of music. We'll go to the awards. We've got two hosts tonight. Abe Beeson and Eugenie Jones are going to guide you through the awards tonight, and then we're going to be back with more music, but we're going to crank it up right now. It is our absolute delight to be anywhere with Alex Dugdale. It's been way too long since I've heard this band. Max Holmberg on the drums, Greg Feingold on the bass. <laughs> Did I say that wrong? Every time. Uh, yeah, because I want to say Feinberg, because I just say Holmberg. You know what I mean. And the, the lovely and mysterious John Hansen on piano. Please give a huge welcome, Alex Dugdale, the band. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Uh, just so y'all know, we haven't done that song in, in over a year. Um, <laughs> so, we, yeah, we're just in time. Oh, man. Uh, John Hansen on the piano, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Fine Gold <laughs> on the bass. And Max Holmberg <laughs> on the drums. Oh, oh my gosh, what what a treat. Yeah, that was our um, arrangement of Just In Time. And um, now we would like to do an original composition of mine, um, the swaggiest waltz there is. Um, Yes, this is Swaltz. Big shout out to uh, um, our, our uh, bandmate, Cole Schuster. Uh, because of COVID, he could not be here tonight. Um, but he is just so integral to this tune, and we will be thinking of him while we play it. So we love you, Cole. Ladies and gentlemen.
<laughs> Usually. But, uh, yeah. Can we do a recreation for Keaton? Yeah. You got a shirt? I do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Swaltz, the swaggiest Waltz. Um, and now we're going to do a uh, number off of our brand new album that will be out probably in a couple of weeks. Max, when do w when do we think? Uh, like the uh, in the next month. So stay tuned for that. You can follow fade.jazz on Instagram. And also in a couple of weeks, you can go to www.alexdugdale.com. Um, in, a, in a couple of weeks, don't go now. Don't do it now. Don't do it. Stop. <laughs> Don't do it now. But in like two weeks, do it. Like set a date on your calendar. What, what is this? The 12th. So on like the 26th, <laughs> set a reminder to go to www.alexdugdale.com and check it out. Um, but don't do it now. I can't stress that enough. It doesn't <laughs> exist. It's, it's, not, it's not real. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to mess with your mind. You're going to go to places you wish you hadn't. Don't do it. Oh, man. <laughs> this next song is T for Two. Did I say that right, Max? That is, is, is that how you pronounce it when you write it like that? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> like Joe Thomas. Yeah, I right, know. right. <laughs> and fight.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was T for Two, uh, Max Holmberg on the drums. <laughs> yeah, so my name is Alex Dugdale, this is the Fade Quartet, uh, and of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Cole Schuster on uh, guitar. He really fills everything out, and we're, we're missing him tonight, but hopefully you all are enjoying the show. Um, I believe there is a little PayPal or Venmo thing attached, so if you feel like tipping us, you know, and tapping, tipping and tapping, you know, you can't have one without the other. Uh, this next song is also off of our new CD that will be out soon. This is called Crest and will feature uh, John Hansen on the piano. Crest, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this will be our last song for the set. Thank you.
Quartet. Alex Dugdale on saxophone. Greg Feingold on the bass. <laughs> Max Humberg on drums. John Hansen on piano. Fade Quartet. They'll be back in just a little while after our uh, Golden Ear Awards ceremony. This is one of my favorite traditions of the Earshot Jazz Organization and um, indeed was one of my first exposures to the organization. I wandered in as an innocent bystander in the very first Golden Ear program. It was upstairs at uh, Lefernos uh, near the south end of the Ballard Bridge, the uh, well patinaed uh, restaurant and jazz club. And um, such a warm feeling, such an inviting feeling, such a spirit of community. The very first awards, shout outs to Gary Bannister, one of the Earshot founders, uh, for um, conceiving of these awards and staunchly defending them and keeping uh, them going in their early years. That very first year in the Hall of Fame uh, induction was uh, Floyd Standifer, Al Hood, the bassist Chuck Metcalf, and the gorgeous singer Ernestine Anderson. So that's a, that's a great and a very strong foundation for this tradition, which has continued now, uh, I believe, into the 31st year. And um, I'd like to also acknowledge our dear friend Jim Wilkie, who uh, emceed these awards for so many years and really became the, the face and uh, the voice of, uh, of this uh, award program. It's such an um, incredible community that we have, and we see it in various um, perspectives, I guess. Um, each year when we stop and take some time to recognize the accomplishments of the jazz artists who are with us today and are, who are creating uh, great work today. Everybody nominated by popular vote and voted by popular vote. I believe we had over a thousand votes uh, in total this year. And um, so, yeah, it's a snapshot of where we are this year, but um, given the arc of our history together here um, and the, the jazz legends from this region that we celebrate in the Hall of Fame, um, you can see that we're, we're building that history right now. And um, these awards are, are a very important part of that acknowledgement. And we're also making a statement to the, to the broader cultural community here that um, something very special is going on in this city. And the jazz community here is really world class, as good as any other city in the world. And we're happy to take some time to acknowledge them. Now, I'm happy to be able to turn it over to uh, dueling MCs tonight. Huge thanks uh, to Halen Blanchard and Josh Manley for putting together the, the video montages you're about to see. Uh, obviously, we're in a very safe environment here um, at the Royal Room, only eight people in the entire building, including the technical crew and the band and me. So uh, we're playing it safe, and we've done so as well with the acceptance awards from uh, all of the winners tonight, and we're happy to invite and to congratulate everyone. You'll see um, our good friend from KNKX, the new cool and way beyond, Mr. A. Beeson. And I am delighted now to turn things over to a woman who will probably be eligible for one of our Community in Action Awards next year for her work in producing the Jackson Street Jazz Walk. Please welcome now singer, songwriter, producer, Eugenie Jones. And thank you. Thank you, John. So very happy and honored to be here with you this evening celebrating the 2020 Golden Ear Awards. Welcome and thank you for being here with us. We have a lot of wonderful music to celebrate and some fabulous artists who made it happen. And we all have to be happy about the fact that this is the shortest distance we've ever had to commute in order to participate in the Golden Ear Awards. So let's get to it. The Northwest Recording of the Year nominees are Sunday and Mr. Gossel, Fun and Fancy, Duende Libra, The Dance She Spoke, Ray Larson's Songs to Fill the Air, Thomas Marriott, 
Trumpet Ship, Ryan Burns, Postpone Parade. And the winner is Duende Libra, the dance she spoke. Congratulations. To quote one of my favorite songwriters, Joni Mitchell, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. I've thought about those words a lot in the past year, and I think it's true. But I've also found that when so much is taken away, you learn to appreciate what you have. 2020 taught me that when the going gets really tough, we need music and musicians more than ever. And like the proverbial tree that falls in the woods, music wouldn't mean anything without a community to share it with. For us, this honor is a celebration of the beautiful jazz community here in Seattle and around the world that continues to nurture and inspire and encourage us to keep fighting the good fight. I want to congratulate all of the winners of the 2020 Earshot Golden Ear Awards. I would also like to congratulate all the nominees and everyone who made 2020 a little more bearable by sharing their music. Thank you to Earshot for continuing to support and catalyze the Seattle jazz community. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we hope we look forward to seeing you soon. Well, hello, it is great to be here, or at least to be here today. Um, I miss all of you, but thank you so much for making some great music over the last year. It is my honor uh, to uh, announce the nominees for the Northwest Acoustic Ensemble of the Year. Jacob Zimmerman Trio, Thomas Marriott Quintet, Sunday and Mr. Gessel, the Bill Anschel Trio, and Earth Tone Sky Tone. And the award goes to Sunday and Mr. Gessel. Boston, Jason Gessel here, aka Sunday and Mr. Gessel, and we are so honored to be receiving Northwest Acoustic Ensemble of the Year. Big thank you to Earshot Jazz for being such an amazing supportive arts organization, supporting jazz artists for many, many years. A huge shout out to all of the fans who engaged in the voting process. Thank you for your support. And Congratulations to every single artist recording and everyone on the ballot this year. We are seriously so honored to be among such insanely awesome talent. You guys are so amazing. You should be very proud of yourselves. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you. Congratulations, Cindy and Mr. Gossel. Let's keep this party rolling. Our next award is for Emerging Artist of the Year. And the nominees are Josh Howe, Abby Blackwell, Tony LaFay, Dylan Hayes, Xavier LeCourtier, and the winner is Basis, Abby Blackwell. Congratulations, Abby. Hi. I just want to say thank you to everyone who voted in this year's Earshot Awards. Um, and congratulations to everyone uh, who won an award and was nominated. There were so many spectacular musicians and bands on the docket this year. Uh, but most importantly, I wanna say thank you to everyone who has been able to continue to support live and recorded music um, this year, uh, as well as those who have still uh, been able to make um, live and recorded music this year, um, the toughest of all years. Uh, because it's been uh, made a little bit more bearable by um, everyone's contributions. So thank you again, and I hope to see you soon. Our next category is for the Alternative Jazz Group of the Year, and boy, what a lineup of nominees we have tonight. The Bad News Botanists, Abby Blackwell's Ray, Amy Denio, Ryan Burns, and The Electric Circus. And the golden ear goes to Ryan Burns. Congratulations, Ryan. 
Hello and thank you, Earshot Jazz. I'm honored to receive the Golden Ear Award for Best Alternative Jazz Group of the Year. And also congrats to my fellow nominees. I'm glad there's a category for us out there. Uh, uh, no pun intended on out there. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to first thank my wife Lila for all the love, support, and basement space where I am now and where I recorded my album, Postpone Parade. Um, that record uh, included over a dozen of Northwest's finest musicians, and uh, I'm going to take advantage of technology to list them so I don't run out of my 60 seconds here. Um, and thanks also to my touring band, my touring live stream band. Um, I'll list them also in the comments here. And all the uh, four DJs at KNKX for playing my songs. I couldn't, I can't believe the support um, here in the Northwest. Wayne Horvitz, The Royal Room, Brad Ruta, um, and Nancy Guppy, Avenia Winery, Loudswell.com, Kirkland Performance Center, everybody that uh, gave us musicians a gig in this weird time. Uh, again, I'm humbled, appreciative. This inspires me to keep making music with my friends. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Ryan. And we're moving right along to the next award. Our next award category is Northwest Jazz Instrumentalist of the Year, Neil Welch, Alex Dugdale, James Falzone, Kate Olson, and Ray Larson. And the 2020 Northwest Jazz Instrumentalist of the Year goes to Alex Dugdale. Congratulations, Alex. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Dugdale here. Um, I am beyond honored and humble and grateful to receive the Northwest Jazz Instrumentalist Golden Ear Award for the year 2020. Um, thank you to Earshot Jazz and the Seattle music community. Um, I love all of you so much and um, also a big thank you to all of the venues uh, that have been doing live streaming events. Um, these have been trying times for everybody and um, so grateful for the opportunities that I've had to be able to perform uh, places like the Bellevue Jazz Walk and the Jackson Street Jazz Walk performing at Boxley's and um, now the Royal Room will be doing live stream events and I am so happy to see uh, so many musicians continue to perform and uh, I can't wait until we can all share stages again and go hear each other play. Um, until then, please stay safe everybody. Uh, continue to, to mask up and, and keep your loved ones close and stay healthy. Uh, once again, thank you so much and we'll see you all as soon as we can. Have a great night everybody. Peace. Jazz, jazz. It is now my honor to present the nominees for Northwest Vocalist of the Year. A great list of wonderful singers. Kate Boss, Jeanne Kendrick, Aisha Brooks, Elna Jordan, and Hava Morel. And the Golden Ear Award goes to Jeanne Kendrick, who is also nominated for a Grammy Sunday night. Congratulations, Jeanne. I cannot tell you how much of an honor it is to receive this award. I have been nominated several times and this is the first time I've actually won. So thank you so much for voting me Northwest Vocalist of the Year. It's an honor. I hope you all are staying safe. Um, wear your masks. Thank you for sticking with us. Our next category is Northwest Concert of the Year. And the nominees are Seattle Repertoire Jazz Orchestra, tribute to Billie Holiday, fe featuring Jacqueline Tabor. Aham Ufale Oluo, music from Susan, streamed at the Earshot Jazz Festival. Mark Seals, quintet at Jazz Alley. Kong Vu and Ted Poor at Cry and Roar 10 Cafe Racer. And the winner is Aham Ufale Oluo, Music from Susan. Congratulations. Hi, this is Zahame Felicia Oluo. Uh, what a complete honor to win concert uh, of the year. I am, uh, I bet it makes me very happy, uh, especially in a city with so many incredible musicians making so many incredible things uh, in the face of 
such uh, incredible odds right now. And uh, I just want to thank, you know, the greatest band I've ever played with uh, for <laughs> for uh, helping me do this. And uh, I'd like to thank them individually. So that's uh, Devon and Marina and Marina and Jerome and Jason and Skerrick uh, and the incredible vocalists and lyricists, Akanamade and Tiffany Wilson. Uh, and then the whole team that helped me uh, make that, Jen and Matt and Haley and Robert and uh, Steve and the crew that shot it, Sebastian and his team and uh, on the boards for letting us do that there. Um, I, uh, I I look back at that video and I um, just can't wait to see all of those people again and can't wait to perform for you again and uh, do another show uh, with hopefully people in the audience. Okay, I love you Seattle, thank you. Each year, the Golden Ear Awards goes beyond the normal ballot categories to recognize artists who have utilized music as a vehicle for the common good and the creative elevation of their peers. It hasn't been easy with COVID-19, but the following artists have made a unique impact. The 2020 Golden Ear Community in Action Award recognizes Josh Howe and Max Holberg for Jazz Talk Seattle, a monthly podcast that elevates the message of jazz artistry in Seattle. And you can learn more about this dynamic duo and the current issue of Earshot Jazz. Hey everyone, Max Holmberg here. It's a huge surprise and an honor to have been recognized with the Community in Action Award for the podcast Jazz Talk Seattle. Music brings people together <clears throat> under normal circumstances, and the podcast has been a great way to both share what's happening in the local scene as well as learn more about the people behind projects, especially during this pandemic shutdown. I'd like to thank Earshot, the entire Seattle jazz scene, and our podcast listeners and participants for doing what they do to cultivate the music we all enjoy and the equally important community that surrounds it. Lastly, I'd like to take a moment to thank my podcasting partner and great friend Josh for many things, including coming up with the idea for this podcast in the first place quite a few years ago at this point. Uh, keeping things organized and running smoothly, and for thinking of me to partner with on such a cool project. I'm very happy to see it seems to be reaching people who enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Earshot, and everyone who voted. This was really unexpected, and I'm truly honored. 2020 was such a hard year for all musicians. Losing tours, performances, and jam sessions meant the loss of one of the primary sources of community for musicians. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity for me and Max to spotlight our community by talking to so many of you about your music and what's behind it. I also want to thank Max for being such a great podcast partner, for constantly being excited about new ideas, and for sticking with me for three plus years now. We look forward to continuing to be cheerleaders for all the amazing music that comes out of Seattle. Thank you. Secondly, the Community in Action Award recognizes Gordon Brown for Loud Swell aka live concert stream for his work in devising a user-friendly way for artists to stream their music while earning an income. Hi everybody, my name is Gordon Brown, Loudswell's founder and chief executive, and I'm honored to accept this Golden Year Award on behalf of the Loudswell team. For people who don't know us yet, Loudswell is a service and website where artists can live stream themselves to earn money directly from their fans. As of this evening, we've been in business for almost exactly one year, and in that time we've produced nearly 200 shows and helped our artists earn over $185,000. The entire team at Loudswell is deeply connected to the Seattle music community, and many of us were still playing gigs this time last year. But when the gravity of the pandemic's impact on the arts became clear, we wanted to take action and help our friends and colleagues. It's been a real labor of love, so we're humbled by your recognition with this award. We want to thank John, Karen, and all the folks at Earshot for playing such an instrumental role in building and supporting this community. We also want to thank our partner venues, studios, and record labels. In particular, nearly a quarter of our shows have happened at the Royal Room, so hats off to Wayne and Brad for providing such a wonderful place for musicians to play together safely. None of this would have been possible without the artists who took a chance on us. So we're grateful for the opportunity to help present your talents to the world and to provide a platform to connect with your audiences. It's a responsibility we don't take lightly, so thank you. Most of all, thank you to the hundreds of thousands of people who have tuned in and often supported our artists through financial contributions. 
Lastly, I personally want to thank the amazing team at Wild Squall for an incredible first year. Stuart Jackson, Greg Kramer, Brady Harvey, Nicholas Polamanakos, Aaron Starkey. They've worked tirelessly to make this thing a reality, and I feel so lucky to be working with each and every one of them. So happy birthday, Loud Swell, and thanks, everybody. And finally, this award is bestowed to an incredible instrumentalist, educator, and someone who jumped right in at the start of the pandemic to create a stream concert series called Quarantine Sessions. We're thrilled to recognize Marina Albero for her contribution as well. Marina, Gordon, Josh, and Max, thank you, and congratulations. Good evening. Full of gratitude. I remember when I came to Shira for the first time, I was 12 years old, and I fell in love with the city and said to myself, one day I'm gonna live here. So to me tonight, it's a really special night where I humbly accept this award that to me means belonging to a family, belonging to a community. And you know, we're nothing alone. So thanks for keeping connected even through the hardest of times in quarantine. I'm really grateful to every soul that has joined and tuned in, especially to the powerful women that from day one were in this journey, such as Adriana Giordano, Hannah Morel, Jacqueline Tabor, Serena, Shayna Shepard, Tiffany Wilson, J.R. Rhodes, Emilia Love Clearheart. And we had some strong dynamic men that allowed us females to lead as they followed very graciously, like Hans Teuber, Jeff Bush, Dean Schmidt, Jerome Smith, also Floyd Reitzma, and also the support of Stone Gossard, Isha Just Festival, and Phil Peterson. So thanks to everybody who's been there supporting local artists and local businesses. We are powerful together. We can make it together. Thank you so much and have a lovely evening. Congratulations to all those incredibly valuable members of the Seattle jazz community. You know, Earshot's Golden Ear Awards have been celebrating the annual accomplishments of Seattle's jazz artists since 1990, while also naming the most significant members of the community to the Seattle Jazz Hall of Fame. And tonight, Earshot welcomes three worthy new members. We begin with uh, Mock Escobedo, Mr. E's stellar reputation at Eckstein Middle School and his legendary work ethic over 30 plus years, not to mention his trademark Hawaiian shirts, have made him a Northwest jazz education legend and earned him awards too numerous to mention. Uh, in 2019, Mock sent six talented middle schoolers to the KNKX studios to play a live School of Jazz session. All six of them just happened to be talented young women. He's truly deserving of Hall of Fame induction, Mr. Mock Escobedo. Wow. Thank you for this special honor and incredible award of being selected for induction into the Seattle Jazz Hall of Fame. I would like to thank Earshot Jazz and Golden Ear Awards. I am very grateful and humbled to be able to work in a community that is so very supportive. I have loved working at Eckstein for the past 26 years along with great orchestra, choir, and musical theater teachers and look forward to many more music adventures. Also thanks to the jazz community for being so supportive and encouraging and thanks to all of my past and current students. Thank you also to my colleagues and mentors for all their support over the years. It is a great privilege to join people like Scott Brown, Clarence Acox, Robert Natt, Stuart Dempster, and Greta Matassa. It has been a wonderful, constantly changing experience. Stay positive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our next inductee into the Seattle Jazz Hall of Fame, pianist, composer, librettist, singer, and songwriter Robin Holcomb. She arrived in Seattle from New York in 1988 and became a linchpin of musical creativity in our community, whether conducting orchestras or performing solo. Her music has been called staggeringly beautiful, modernist and rustic, painful and tender, and Sati goes to Appalachia, and always original. Welcome to the Seattle Jazz Hall of Fame, Robin Holcomb.
Thank you very much for this most tremendous and unexpected honor. I'm delighted. I'd like to thank all of the musicians in Seattle, those I've played with, those I've listened to, endlessly inspiring. I'd also like to thank the individuals and organizations that support the performance in person of new and outside music. John Gilbreth, Karen Caro Pepe, Paul DeBarros, my special thanks. Earshot Jeff has been supportive of my work since I moved here in 1989. So thank you all. I look forward to seeing everyone face to face soon and listening to music live in the same room as soon as possible. Thank you. Our third and final inductee into the Seattle Jazz Hall of Fame tonight is the wonderful Hans Teuber. His suave charm and rapier wit are only surpassed by his musical talent, making Hans Teuber one of the most in-demand musicians in the Northwest for more than 30 years. He's a beloved teacher at Cornish College, led the Teatro Zinzani Band for years, and has appeared with countless bands on various instruments on countless albums, inspiring our community's top musicians to ever greater heights. The Seattle Jazz Hall of Fame is proud to induct Hans Teuber. <laughs> Hey, Seattle. Hey, Earshot. Thank you so much for this award and acknowledgement. And thanks to my wonderful family and all my beautiful friends that I love to play music with. So hopefully we'll see you out there soon. <laughs> Once again, congratulations to all the winners. Uh, yeah, I think it's we're in a time warp right now, Halen. Time is different. <laughs> time is different. Like just over there, the time is different than it is right here. We're so glad to have you with us tonight. We had, um, I think, we have. 200 and some people watching tonight. The Golden Air Awards, uh, annual tradition here in Seattle, and uh, we're um, proud at Earshot Jazz to be associated with it. Congratulations again to all the winners. Thanks again to Halen and to Josh Manley for putting all of those videos together, and uh, to everyone for braving the uh, elements of the day to record their, their speech. Uh, 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 I really can't wait until we can all be together again in the same room to do this in person. Um, congratulations to Aha Maluo and a note that we will rebroadcast that music from Susan concert on um, April 30th, which is uh, International Jazz Day in any case. So that's a great way to mark that day as part of the series we're doing here. You can check the screen for ways to donate to the organizations. Uh, to the individual musicians, Alex Dugdale, Fade Quartet, uh, Venmo and PayPal, and um, support your local artists and arts organizations. We really appreciate it. Thank you again so much for being with us, and thanks to this great band. We're going to crank this thing up again, featuring Greg Feingold on the bass, Max Holmberg on drums, John Hansen on piano. It's Alex Dugdale. There's nothing like it. Fade Quartet.
hey, congratulations to all of the uh, Golden Era Award winners, um, except for myself. And um, and uh, and a huge congratulations to all of the nominees and the uh, and all of you out there watching at home, and the Seattle music community and all of the venues. Uh, we're just so happy to be here playing for you all tonight. Huge thanks to Halen. Uh, Blanchett over there. Huge thanks, thanks to uh, John Gilbreth stuffing his face with pizza back there. <coughs> and Brad over there running lights and sound, doing a fantastic job. It sounds great to us out here. Hope it sounds wonderful to all of you listening at home. Uh, you heard 611, uh, an original composition by me, kind of inspired by one of my saxophone heroes, Dexter Gordon. Um, and after that, you heard Pure Imagination, um, John Hansen on the piano. Um, Max Holmberg on the drums and Greg Feingold on the bass and I would be remiss if I did not mention our fifth member Cole Schuster on the guitar um, who's not able to be here tonight um, but our, our heart goes out to him and we miss him dearly um, but we will, uh, we will continue on with a song that I wrote many 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 years ago <coughs> It is. It's so many years. You know, when I wrote this, this was before Uber. <laughs> Uber wasn't a thing when I wrote this tune. Right? And, like, Lyft wasn't a thing either. DoorDash didn't exist. No, Tinder was around. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, have, I actually have a song about that, but we won't do it tonight. Um, this is a song called Tapper's Delight. like vintage 20, like 13.
I did. I totally did. I'm so sorry, Brad. You can send me a bill. I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, like like those things are meant to kind of take it. <laughs> if, for all of you that don't know, I totally kicked the crap out of the mic on that last one. <laughs> Oops. I mean, yay insurance. <laughs> all right. Um, so yeah, that was Tapper's Delight. And now... Um, we are going to do a song that I wrote very recently. Um, an hour. An, uh, yeah, just an hour ago, <laughs> and as a matter of fact. Um, if you. Because yeah, yeah. I want to show them. Hey, Brad, which camera is best right now? If I just hold it up like this, can, can, can they see it? <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So, like, y'all should take a look at this. Because this is what I wrote out. This is what I wrote out about an hour ago. And John <laughs> Hansen and I are about to play this. Uh, this is the premiere. Um, I, I wrote this a while ago. Um, and I'd like to dedicate this to Steve Mostavoy. Um, and, and his family. Uh, Steve is an amazing trumpet player and educator who passed. And um, this is called Goodbye, and this is for Steve.
John Hansen, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we have time for one more. This is the last one. Um, once again, big shout out to the Royal Room for having us. Uh, congratulations to all of the award winners and all of the nominees. And a big thank you to all of you at home continuing to support this fantastic music community we have in Seattle and the jazz community, uh, Earshot Jazz. John Gilbreth, um, Abe Beeson, um, nice haircut by the way, buddy. Uh, Halen Blanchard here and Brad. Um, and then of course the band John Hansen on the piano. Greg Feingold on the bass and Max Holmberg on the drums. My name is Alex Doug Dale. ADD. ADD. <laughs> if you all knew how true that really was, I mean, you'd be laughing too. Um, Alex Doug Dale, yours truly here. Um, we are going to end with the title track from our um, upcoming CD, which is a good thing because that baritone looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa right now, so I better pick it up. Um, this is called The Dugout. Thank you very much. Have a great night.
Goldberg. Golden Ear Award Ceremony for the year 2020. Once again, big shout out to John Gilbreth, Halen Blanchard, all of the Earshot Jazz staff. Big shout out to everyone at the Royal Room here, including Brad doing lights and sound. You've been listening to the Fade Quartet, John Hansen on the piano, Max Holmberg on the drums, Greg Feingold on the bass behind me there. My name is Alex Dugdale. We've really enjoyed swinging with y'all tonight. And we hope that you all have a fantastic weekend and be on the lookout for our album coming out. Keep supporting live music and the arts here in Seattle. It's so important, we can't do it without you. Have a wonderful night, thank you so much. (laughs) 